The AI realm is exploding with breakthroughs this week, and we're diving deep into the heart of it. First up, Amazon's Rufus is reshaping online shopping, making it easier and more efficient. Nightshade, developed by University of Chicago researchers, has taken the world by storm, with 250,000 downloads in just five days. Stack Overflow's usage has plummeted by 50%, and a recent study shows that people prefer AI-generated copy in various content creation tasks. Meta's OKRobot OK is breaking new ground, excelling in unfamiliar environments. And don't miss Google Bard's return, as Gemini Pro now ranks higher than regular GPT-4. Plus, we'll reveal the top 150 AI tools, including lesser-known gems making waves in education and beyond. Before we dive in, remember to subscribe to my channel to stay updated with all the latest AI news and developments. Amazon's beta testing out Rufus a new AI assistant designed to revolutionize shopping on its app. Rufus, built on unique data from retail stores, dives into customer reviews, Q&As, and web information to find exactly what you need. Rufus is more than just a search tool. It's an expert shopping assistant trained on Amazon's vast product catalog and external web data. Whether you're comparing products, seeking specific item details, or exploring general shopping queries, Rufus streamlines the process. It's integrated seamlessly into the Amazon shopping experience, making it easier for customers to discover and choose the right products. Currently available in beta to a select group of US customers on the mobile app, Rufus will soon be accessible to more users. With Rufus, Amazon is set to redefine the convenience and efficiency of online shopping. Google Bard is back. Gemini Pro now ranks higher than regular GPT-4. Until recently, Bard, powered by Gemini Pro, was similar in performance to GPT-3.5. It wasn't quite as good as other AI like Claude or GPT-4's version from March. But last week, Google upgraded Bard. Surprisingly, it jumped to third place on the chatbot arena leaderboard, right behind GPT-4 Turbo, and that's before the Ultra version is even released. But what does this mean for you? For now, ChatGPT is still the top pick, but Bard is becoming a strong contender, so it's worth keeping an eye on. And there are more updates to Bard. It now offers Gemini Pro in more countries and can check its answers better. But the coolest of all is image generation. Yup, you can now create images in Bard. New study highlights the top 150 AI tools in the market. A recent report, Generative AI Top 150, the world's most used AI tools, was jointly created by SimilarWeb and Ahrefs. The report reveals that ChatGPT leads in web traffic and search rankings but lesser-known platforms like Brainly, Chai, and Write Sonic are also gaining significant user bases. Key findings include the dominance of educational tools in AI, with Brainly, Course Hero, and Turnitin ranking in the top 10. Social and chatting apps are also popular, with Character.ai ranking fourth overall, offering users a variety of interactive AI characters. Notable mentions include Grammarly AI, ranking third with 30 million users, and Brainly at sixth, providing AI-powered educational support. These tools illustrate a trend where AI is becoming a daily part of life, especially in education, hinting at future shifts in how we work and learn. Meta's OK Robot excels in unfamiliar environments. Meta AI's OK Robot, developed in collaboration with New York University, showcases a significant advancement in robotics, successfully performing pick-and-drop tasks in new environments without prior training. This innovative system integrates vision language models with advanced robotics, allowing it to understand and execute tasks based on natural language prompts. The robot, equipped with navigation, grasping modules, and a dropping heuristic system, navigates and manipulates objects effectively. In tests across various homes, OKRobot OK achieved a 58% success rate in completing tasks, which improved to over 82% with optimized conditions, while OKRobot OK has shown impressive capabilities in zero-shot learning and open vocabulary grasping, it still faces challenges like prompt object mismatches and limitations in its hardware and object memory module. Despite these hurdles, OKRobot OK represents a significant step forward in robotics, demonstrating the potential of pre-trained models in performing complex tasks in new, unstructured environments. Humans prefer AI-generated copy. A SEMrush survey of 700 US consumers reveals a surprising trend people generally prefer AI-generated content versus human-created content. The study showed that in various content creation tasks, AI consistently outperformed human writers. For example, AI was preferred for writing blog post intros, social media ads, and product descriptions, with a preference rate ranging from 54% to 70%.
Now this is crazy. Stack Overflow usage is down 50%. Stack Overflow, a popular resource for developers, has seen a significant 50% drop in usage. This decline is largely attributed to the growing adoption of advanced AI tools like ChatGPT and Copilot. These AI solutions provide developers with instant coding assistance and solutions, reducing their reliance on traditional forums like Stack Overflow. The shift indicates a major change in how developers seek and receive support, with AI tools offering more efficient, immediate help for coding challenges. Nightshade, a groundbreaking tool developed by University of Chicago researchers, has seen a staggering 250,000 downloads in just five days. This tool, designed to protect artists' rights, alters artworks at a pixel level, effectively poisoning AI models that scrape and train on these images without permission. The tool's popularity reflects a growing global concern among artists about their work being used without consent. The overwhelming demand for Nightshade even led to network saturation at the University of Chicago, prompting the team to set up additional download links. This tool, along with their earlier release, Glaze, which has garnered 2.2 million downloads since April 2023, forms part of the Glaze project's efforts to empower artists against unauthorized AI use. The team plans to combine Glaze and Nightshade into a single tool, although this is expected to take at least a month due to the need for comprehensive testing. Microsoft brings AI to the office with Copilot Pro for Word, Excel, Outlook, and PowerPoint. For $20 a month, it's a great deal, especially for Office 365 users. What does it do? In Word, it helps write and summarize documents, a big time saver. In Outlook, it can shorten long email threads and even help you write emails quickly. For PowerPoint, just give it some text and it'll create a presentation for you. In Excel, it finds important points in your data and makes graphs to show them. Also, in Teams, it makes summaries of your video meetings and can answer questions about them. You also get to use GPT-4 Turbo, which means quicker internet searches and better coding help. They're even working on letting you make your own AI tools. Copilot Pro is more than just an app. It's a major step in making work easier. Meta AI launches Code Llama 70B for advanced code generation. Meta AI has released Code Llama 70B, a new open source AI model for code generation. This enhanced version, building on its predecessor Llama 2, can write and modify code in multiple programming languages from simple prompts or snippets. Trained on 500 billion tokens of code, Code Llama 70B stands out for its accuracy and complexity handling, especially with its specialized variants for natural language instructions and Python coding. Scoring high on benchmarks like Human Evil, Code Llama 70B demonstrates its capability in tasks from data manipulation to algorithm implementation. Available for free under the same license as previous models, it's designed for both research and commercial use, supported by extensive documentation and tutorials from Meta AI. Thanks for watching.